The story of Daisy follows Lila's emotional journey as she goes from feeling numb to the death of her friend to believing she is responsible for Daisy's death. I left her. The focus of my report was about how to visually tell the story from Lila's perspective as she battles with her inner conflict while also visually conveying the estranged relationship that she has with her mother. I did my research through watching films and TV shows featuring estranged family relationships and characters who deal with some mental conflict. I also wanted to explore different techniques of storyboarding and apply it to my own practice. And during this process, I developed camera floor plans, which positively impacted not only my role, but the general production in several ways. In This Is England 88 series, I found it interesting how they visually conveyed Lowell dealing with mental trauma and how the audience get to experience exactly what she was going through. Using possibly a 50mm lens on a close-up makes the audience feel isolated from the background and they're focused on how the character's feeling or what they're thinking about. So when Lila picks up the photo of her and Daisy, she is intensely focused on the photo, which suggests a different emotion contrasting to how she acts towards her mum. I like the creation of space using a wide-angle lens in these shots from the Royal Tenenbaums to suggest the emotionally distant relationship between the characters, also by keeping them in separate shots and creating space around them. This influenced a couple of shots throughout the film, and I used a 40mm lens on establishing shots that only Lila is in. My intention of that was to convey Lila's isolation, feeling alone as she keeps her emotions bottled up. In this scene from Mummy Dearest, I looked at how this single extra shot over the shoulder of Christine's side centres the attention to Christine's perspective. I took this inspiration when Lila is talking to Caroline in the conservatory, where we focus more on Lila because of this extra shot, which mainly features Lila. I used the method of storyboarding from my research, breaking down the scene into its key elements, which can then be helpful when thinking about what needs to be shown visually. I did this by asking myself a number of questions about the scene to break it down. What does the scene establish? What are the characters' emotions? What is the action of the scene? How do the audience feel? Whilst I didn't necessarily do this exact process for every scene, I did think of the questions when approaching each scene for storyboarding. During pre-production, the producer, director and I discussed an early version of my storyboard, however we had difficulty being able to, to discuss ideas about the blocking and the storyboard as they were unfamiliar to the location we were filming in. So the producer began sketching rough floor plans which made it easier to communicate these ideas and thought it would be a good idea if I went away and created floor plans for every scene that would include all the angles the camera would be positioned as well as the actors. This made it so much easier to communicate ideas and create a plan. Looking at the floor plans, it made it clear to see which angles are possible and how the setup is going to work, as we had to fit the equipment, lighting setup, and cast in small rooms. Also, we split one house into two, so we had to make sure that we didn't plan to shoot where you could see another set. Once they were completed, I then created the storyboard based off of that, which helped me a lot when drawing it, and weirdly enough, the storyboards turned out to look very similar to the results. It's lovely, having a curry in ages. I bet you missed your mum's cooking. So, tell me about London. On every day of the shoot, using the floor plans to communicate to the rest of the crew how we're going to be shooting the scene sometimes got a little bit confusing because I used number systems on the storyboard, shot list and camera floor plans which all correlated together in the actual shooting plan. So in hindsight, I think I should have used a letter system or colours to separate each document. However, I would definitely use the camera floor plans again when doing complicated shoots. So my research did inspire me creatively in the visuals for Daisy. However, creating more detailed and innovative plans took the most time to complete. And I feel like I learned a lot through doing it. And it turned out to be a very important document during the shoot. I believe it had a significant impact on the production. And in the final result, I'm happy with how the visuals turned out. <laughs>